Zombie Go Boom. Kick Undead Ass. The Axe Gang Hatchet has been seen in countless of Kung Fu movies, including Kung Fu Hustle and The Legend of Drunken Master. And as Axe Gang members are constantly getting their butts kicked, this doesn't seem like a very good weapon. Maybe it would be if they connected. Why haven't they tried throwing it? If they all threw their axes at the same time, even Jackie Chan wouldn't be able to the Cold Steel Axe Gang Hatchet! In movies, it may just be a prop for the camera, but this bad boy is no wall hanger. With a drop forged and differentially heat treated 1055 carbon steel blade, and an incredibly strong but sort of ironic American hickory wood handle, this not made in China Chinese axe is a diverse piece of awesomeness. It's 20 and a quarter inches long overall. It weighs in at a super respectable 35 and a half ounces, and it only costs 35 and a half dollars. Wielding it today will be world champion knife thrower RC the Combat Knife Thrower. First he'll throw, then he'll finish him. And by him, I mean one of Zombie Go Boom's brand new ultra thick Ivan Zombie Head Analogs. If you can get through these, you should have no problem getting through the real thing. Let's make a Zombie Go Boom! Axe Gang style. That's right, survivors. Today we have the Cold Steel Axe Gang hatchet, but we're not gonna be swinging it like an Axe Gang from Legend of Drunken Master. Instead, we're gonna be throwing it, which is why we brought RC over here. He has a channel called the Combat Knife Thrower. Link right here or in the description. And he's a world champion knife thrower, so if anybody can throw this thing and make a zombie go boom, it's RC. Are you ready? Oh yeah. Let's get started. Ready? Okay. Oh! Fucking shit. Holy crap. Ouch. Yeah, that zombie went boom. You see that? Take a look at that slow-mo, this boom footage. All right, don't go anywhere because we're going to be finishing this guy off, but I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. Axe came in, cut. Hardest part of the head, which is the face, because there's so much bone there, and it managed to slice cleanly with a throw. What do you think of this damage? I was pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it really just came in at that perfect angle. Uh huh. Um, if I had stepped back a little farther, it probably would have rotated the point so the point came in, but I actually hit it just right so that I was able to get the most out of the edge. Yeah, pretty much square, which meant it cut in and the axe came out which is good because you don't want this thing embedded stuck in there and then have to pry it out mm -hmm. um, it came in did the damage it fell to the ground so i can pick it up and use it again yeah that's a dead zombie and yes i can already hear you guys clicking away at your keyboards saying there's no way you can't throw away your weapon that's a bad idea but never throw away your last weapon that's right Throwing a weapon isn't necessarily a bad thing, you just gotta make sure that you have another weapon, and you also have to make sure that you're kind of an expert, which RC is. Well, RC, as a reward for doing such an amazing job, how about you just beat the crap out of it, decapitate it a little, and then we'll call this a day. Sounds good. So what are you gonna be doing, RC? I'm using a reverse grip strike, and I'm gonna come around for the back side of the neck yeah. with the vertebrae, is, and I'm gonna switch up my grip, Come down over the top here, and again at the neck with two hands. All right. Oh goddamn! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic.
Absolutely no damage to the axe. This thing flew a good four feet away from the stand. This axe is zombie go boom approved. It definitely got stuck a little bit, but it managed to go all the way through the skull, which is thicker than normal. We're making them thicker now just to make sure that the weapons that are approved are definitely approved. This is definitely approved, but RC right here, he gets the overkill seal of destruction. <laughs> If you want to buy this axe, you can get it at zombiegoboom.com. But most importantly, please subscribe to RC because he has an awesome channel. He'll teach you how to throw weapons, how to be an expert at it. Lots of tutorials, lots of montages. Anything else you have? A lot of tricks throws. Um, I do personal lessons. Uh, you send me your video, um, and I can uh, critique it and help you out, and make a better thrower. Congratulations, man! That was badass. Awesome to watch. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed that episode. <laughs> we had a lot of fun shooting it. You can click right over there to check out last week's episode. You can click right over here to subscribe to RC's channel, The Combat Knife Thrower. Big ass subscribe button. Don't miss any of the action and punch the living crap out of that like button because that really helps. And RC, you can keep this. All right, thank you. We'll see you guys next time.